Hello everyone and welcome back to Divide and Conquer. Today we are carrying on with the Arnor campaign, or soon to be Arnor campaign. At the minute we are just the Northern Dunedain. But that is our end goal, is to reunite the Kingdom of Arnor. So, it has been a week or so. We are now at war with Dunland, which is good, because we were going to be at war with them anyway. Halbrad is yes, going to mop up Lord. Captain Othran and Captain Cathalan, hopefully. Um, without suffering too many losses because our army is it's not great we're relying on a lot of um, Breland militia and then we're going to march down and take Tharbad that is the plan now I want to pull Harbad out of this army at some point I don't want him stationed at Tharbad forever so I think we're going to send Hervigil down and he can be our garrison commander at Tharbad he is the oldest of the generals, I believe. Um, not that it really matters anymore because people don't die of old age. But he's probably the, the best suited for a governing role. And then we can send Hervigil, not Hervigil, that's Hervigil. We send Arathor back up north to take command of this army. And we're going to join it up hopefully with this army and start to push on Fornoster Rain, I think it's called. In the North Downs. But in the meantime, what I would yes, like my to do, yes, my lord. I would like to get a your orders, my lord. Tower up there, so we can actually see what's going on at Tharbad. Making camp here. Yes, my lord. That's as far as we can go, this so we'll grab that keep vigil over the and then lands. send Arathor back up. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Hervigil can jump down to this fort for now. Your orders, my lord. Aragorn and Kor need to move back. Now, Colonia. Yes. Oh, it does actually still like us. That's a, that's good. With only 30 Breland militia in it as well. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna stick you so we're going to jump here, honor. pull them out, and hopefully Joining the goblins are just going to walk in and take it. And then we can take it straight back next turn. So that'll be good for us. Now what we like for culture, 28%. That is not good. However, I do think movement is key, especially early on. So we'll try and get dirt pass up into Thuin and Koloniak. That'll improve the movement speed of the units. We do also have some agents lurking about. My lord. My lord. Uh, our diplomat is all the way down in Rohan at the minute. Have we got any? Oh, we do. We got one for Rohan as well. Sweet. What is it you wish to discuss? Let's grab trade routes with them. Yes. Seven hundred and fifty gold coins for us. And we've queued up buildings everywhere else. So that's fine. They can step up for now. Oh, where's my spy? Actually, I forgot about my spy. My lord. Jean Aregion. Approaching quietly. Oh, Austin Thill. Quietly. Austin Ethil, sorry. That is looking right for the taking. My lord. That's something else we'd like to do quietly. at some point is take this and then sell it to the elves. Out. But I Your don't lord, know if Aragon's got enough potentially to take it. We'll see. Hopefully Captain Ball will go in and take Tithuin. We'll kill them, and then I'll reevaluate that. Yes, For now, we are going to attack Captain Othran. We shall engage. Out. Come and get me, you He's got two coward. clan hunters and clan spearmen, who are absolutely trash. Oh, it's a shame we don't have any cavalry, though. I could kill for some cavalry. Your orders, my lord. As you command. Just to take out those slingers. Courage, men. We march into battle. This is fine. Should be a nice, easy win. First battle of the episode. Units, await, my await my orders. It's a very ranged, focused army at the minute, I shall say. But I think we should be okay. I'm going to try and get Halbrad to take the brunt of the damage if I can. Not too concerned with everyone else. Who's coming forward here? Is this a unit of slingers? 
It is. I would advise against that. Because you guys are no match for my superior firepower. Although it does look like they're just running for the bandits and militia in the corner. Can you guys just run? Perfect. Straight out. Right, yeah, clan hunters are starting to return fire. But there's so few of them now. I think we can live with that. Oh, we do have a few on the flank, though. What's going on here? Right, Harbour, take out the speed for me. Because you're going to charge him. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, never mind. He don't even need to charge him. I'm not even going to get into combat. It's just a full on shootout. We've annihilated them with arrows and bolts. Right, take out the spearmen again. Our men have slain the enemy general. Let's get them to rout. Him, his right, that's will good. Lose right. to Charge fight. those clan hunters for me the instead. Enemy army oh. flees the field. Pursue and Never run mind. them down. We did get over ninety percent, so we should be okay. This is a clear We lost eleven victory. men. Dunedain Rangers getting one hundred and thirty-five and one hundred and twenty-four, and Halbrod getting one hundred and thirty. Not too shabby. That was a pretty good firing line there. Although that is Dunland's trash units, I'll be honest. Ah! <laughs> God. An honourable, glorious A little victory. dramatic there. Captain, whatever yes, your name was. Right, now it's Captain Catalan's turn. Go. He's got a larger army. So I do expect we'll have some sort of... We shall engage. Melee Glory, combat. Glory, honour, victory! As you command... Oh, he's got three units of Frecklinger hill riders. That's not good. He's got some Dunher Berserkers as well. They're quite a good unit. Effective against armor. Eight attacks. Not bad. Dunland Raiders as well. They're a solid melee infantry. Yeah, but the cavalry is certainly the issue right here. We are going to take... We attack. Um, I don't want to say severe losses, but our units aren't great. Especially against cavalry. We'll see. Maybe we'll be able to kill most of them like we did before without them reaching combat. Now, I would like it if we were in the open. I don't really want to start shooting through the forest if we can help it. Alright, brilliant militia. You're going to have to tank most of this because you have spears. You're the only unit I really want to be charged by cavalry. It just depends where they target them. Uh, bandits can be next, maybe. And then we'll put journeymen on the flank. Because I'm not as bothered about journeymen, I'll be honest. They're not a great unit. It's always nice to have some crossbows in there. Right. Uh, are they all on? No. One unit's on the right. Is that two on the left? Can't, it, can't even see. Yeah, I think it's two, two on their right flank, one on their left. So if you guys start targeting the cavalry for me instead. Although we actually want the berserkers, don't we? Yeah, kill the Berserkers first. They'll do more damage. I think charging. That's one unit of riders dead already. Jesus Christ. Uh, just defend for me. Yeah, those bandits are going to get a nasty charge. Oof. That did a lot of damage. 
If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. That's all right. We took that. Force remains. It wasn't too bad. I'm happy if we lose a unit of bandits and Brela militia. I can live with that. Oh, stay with my rangers though. I need my rangers. Yeah, I think we've got this. The Dunland Raiders are making short work of the Brela militia though. Jesus Christ. What have they got? They've got a two attack and a five defense compared to an eight attack and a nine defense, yeah. They are so much better now. I love the fact that Dunland got a revamp. I think their campaign now is incredible. It's such an interesting campaign. Come on, Halbrad. I was going to see Kinsmen are getting slain, but they're not really. They're just Brelanders, but if we they're still like this, we important will smash to us. The enemy. Stop them from dying. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. No, it's over ninety percent. This is a clear Yeah, see, victory. they killed a lot more of us that time. Halbrad getting one hundred and forty-three kills, but we lost most of the bandits and Breland militia there. Which is unfortunate because they're they're our only melee infantry units. And we'll kill them all. Right, so it's both armies down. An honourable, glorious victory! Which Your is orders, good. my lord. We got most of our bandits back. Orders. Your will, my lord. Might as well take As them. Merge them. them. Yes, my Nothing lord. else we can do with them. To battle. And then As attack Tharbad. To battle. As you command. I don't know if they'll get a garrison or not. I think they will. I'm sure we've attacked before. And they got a garrison. Without the garrison building. I could be wrong. Your but orders, my let's Lord. hope that they don't put any more units in there. And if they don't we get garrison, engage. I think we can take it. The only trouble is we need to be able to take it and then hold it. And we really don't have enough troops, I don't think. We need more infantry. And we're losing money now yes, as well. My Lord. Which is even Your more orders, annoying. My Lord. But I think that is it for this turn. There's nothing else we can do. My lord. Yep. So let's see what happens. Oh, and the goblins didn't take Tethyrin. Just to be even more annoying. Um, I don't think we need any more generals just yet. So I will decline that for now. Enid Wythe. Have we not spoken to Enid Wythe? Yes, my lord. Thought we had. Without question. Obviously not. Yes. Alright, we'll go over there. That'll be another 750 coins for us. Alright, where did the goblins go? I think they're... Oh, where did they? Did they go in the trees or something? Oh, I moved too fast there, I didn't see him. That could have been them. I would fight for your people as if they were my Yes, my lord. Right, this is gonna be really annoying. Your will, my lord. Yes. But I'm gonna Your orders, my lord. Hope that the goblins retreated. Orders. And what I'd like to do Yes, my lord. Can you guys orders. fit in an army? By your command. Your yes, order. you can. There we go. Assembling a mighty so we're going to go host. down with this yes, army and take Lord. Austin Ethel. As you command. Um, in the hope that the Hives actually have some money and will buy it from us. Oh, Hoonvorn, you've got to a large army me there, friend. To court death, and he's Barrowite as well. You got about Hoonvorn. Dunedain Fort. If that is a proper fort, though, like Gondor gets. 
and Dollar Moth, then I think we'll be fine, but I believe that is the right one. That is a very large army though, Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's um <laughs> I'm debating now. Do we pull back? Oh we can't even pull back because apparently Hunvorn is a horse and can gallop half across the map, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna have to stay in the fort. Then your lives. Uh, I still can't retrain them. I will only address your orders, my right. lord. Out of thought, yes, you need to go up there in that fort, friend. Hervigil, you need to make your way down. Oh, Tharbat's got more men now as well. He's got another two units. Be gone. We've also got Captain Nawahas. Nawahas? Don't know how you say that. I butcher this beautiful language. Yes, my lord. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do there. There's nothing we can do with those units in the fort. If anyone want attacks, so we'll have to defend as best we can. Let's just hope that he doesn't. Right, we've moved to spy and diplomats. Out of has gone there. Have a go. Yes, you may as well. Yeah, you're still going to have to come down, so yes. it doesn't really matter. With honor. Your orders, my lord. Oh, Brad, if you attack him, I don't think you're going to be able to besiege Starbad in one turn. We shall engage. Which you're not, so that's annoying. Glory! Honor! Victory! But let's take him out. As you command. Got clan axemen and clan hunters. Attack! Again, like what we did before, we should just be able to fill them with arrows and bolts. Vile scum. I was thinking you can stand before me. Although there's so many bloody trees around the place. Right, Halbra, be ready to engage. You shouldn't have to, but you never know. And they should be running towards us. Yes, they are. Take out those clan hunters for me. Ready, ready. <laughs> oh my lord. Right, so that shooting the clan the axe one as well. Bloodied. They have lost half their men. Just look at the hail of arrows. Sound effects are incredible. Just getting nailed to trees. The enemy general flees like the oh, coward that's he it. is. Press on, the enemy army flees the field. Ninety-four percent. That'll do. By the victory we have we won lost here one today. man. Oh, is it still Bowman as well? Dunedain Rangers there getting 101 kills. Archer Militia getting 53, which is surprising because Halbrad only got 61. I'm loving these battles so far. Where we just annihilate Dunland with arrows. That never gets old. We'll take your An money. Honorable, glorious victory. Yes, my lord. Right. Yes. We're just going to keep we going down. Engage. Let's see what happens. Maybe they'll sally some men out and we can attack them in the field. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my but lord. There's nothing else we can do now. So we shall end the turn. I was debating there whether we pull the other unit of Dunedain scouts out as well, but we then start to lose money, so I think we'll leave them where they are for now. Right, Dunland have still got five units in Tharbad. Not the end of the world. Isengard are now at war with Enid Wythe as well. Which that always seems to happen now. I don't think there's been a campaign that I've played for a while 
where Isengard and Enidwyth have not gone to war. Have a taste of my blade. Oh, Captain Avrank, why are you being so annoying? Taking my sight. Yes, my lord. Right, Arathos, keep going Your up. Your orders, my lord. Have a go. Oh yes, grab me a unit of bandits, please. That'll help. Yes, my lord. Your orders. My so lord. you guys besiege Starbad. As you command. Why not? We shall prevail. Yes. I think this unit can make it across the bridge. Yes, it can. So we'll probably get attacked next turn anyway. Yes, my lord. With Hervigil can make it there next turn with some reinforcements. That'll be good. Your orders, my lord. Right, my spy. Let's have a look. There's a few goblin armies lurking around the place. Tomorrow. Yes, my lord. Well, let's just run for it. We'll try and take off Sinithil. In the meantime, my lord, you make if your way to Enidwyth. As you wish. We'll also need a diplomat up here, won't we, to sell to the High Elf? So we'll grab one now while we've still got money, because we are going to need money <laughs> desperately. Your Ideally, we'd like to lord. move this army out when Arathor, Arathor arrives, so he can take these three units in this fort and these guys in this fort, and move out to Fornos to Ren. Ideally. But then obviously we are going to be losing about 2,000 gold a turn, probably. Which is why we will need money. But if we take Tharbad, that'll give us a decent boost. It just depends how feisty Dunland want to be. Oh, I think they actually ran off. <laughs> That's better for us. Born of Nir. We don't need you yet, sir. Yes. Come back lord. another day. We're combining forces. Right, we've got the diplomat, which is good. Your orders, my lord. We've got a few more units here, so I think we should be okay to attack Tharbad. But we won't do it just yet. My lord. We're yes, also ready to lord. attack Austin Ethel as well. So we can we do that now, that's great. Lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching well, I don't quietly. think anyone's yes, in range to. I shall oh, continue tomorrow. Stopping here. I shall right. continue Let's tomorrow. Hurry up there. I shall continue tomorrow. Your orders, my lord. Alright, he's in the fort, which is good. I'm gonna stick we should you. Probably to take out Captain Avrank. If he's still yes, there next turn, we'll take him out with Arathor. So we can attack Austin Ethel now. However, I don't really want to stay here. And we're not in range to yes, my lord. trade Tomorrow's it to the highest. Which is unfortunate. We definitely want to grab that. As soon as we can. Recruitment wise, get some more wardens. Let's queue up anything that we can recruit. Why can't you recruit them? Well, it's because you haven't built anything, that's why. So we need a Dune Down War Camp, yeah. Right. Fair enough. Let's attack. No, hold on. Yes, my lord. Oh, not quite there yet. Yes. Tomorrow's journey planned. Let's out. attack Austin Your Ethel orders, then. My lord. We shall engage. Oh my god, they've got three units of Orc Defenders. Where the hell did they pull these units from? So, Goblin Bodyguard, Uruk Overseers, Snagger Archers, and then three units of Orc Defenders. We okay. attack! I mean, we should still win. And I'm not too concerned with taking any losses as we can pull back to our homeland. We're not going to try and keep hold of this or push further into Dunland from here, so it shouldn't matter too much. Aragorn, you are going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting, though. It depends if the AI will just sit there and let us shoot them to death. 
I guess we'll find out. We're not selling out, are they? No, that's alright. Right, I think Wardens, you go that way. You go that way. And you guys wheel about this way. Oh, he's gone. Go on, Aragorn. Just quickly nip in there and kill those snagger for me. Hopefully, no one else rushes in to help them. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. I don't know why they're still shoot. Then it annoys me so much when you're engaged with that bloody unit and they still shoot you. Like what? Oh, no, it's just the archers, that's all right. Okay, what we're shooting at first? There's a nice big blob of orc defenders there. Start shooting at them. I'm going to be honest, Aragorn. You've lost nearly 10 men against a unit of snagger archers. Like, that is quite pathetic. They have one attack. One and zero defense. What the hell is that? I didn't even know they had zero defense. You, on the other hand, have an 18 attack and a 34 defense. That's like a dwarven unit. 34 defense, that's insane. How the hell are snaggers archers killing you then? They've got a one attack. That is incredible. Right, pull back. Let's not tempt fit. You guys shimmy over here. How are we doing behind? Not too well. Start shooting them for me. Oh, you guys have depleted a unit half to about half health. That's not bad. So yeah, luckily the AI is just going to stand there and let let us shoot them. Which is perfect for us. As we have three units of Dunedain Rangers. I'll admit, this is not the most interesting gameplay. <laughs> but it's a solid tactic. It does work. Right, one unit is nearly dead. We've Only caught a few overseers as well there. I'll get them in the back now then. Let's see if we can kill a few more of them. Oh, well, they are not good at defending against arrows either. Or blocking them. Right, you guys come in front. You guys pull back and target this unit. Rangers, you might as well release what arrows you have. Shoot the bodyguards. Oh, well, they actually killed the whole unit. They stopped shooting because they killed the whole unit. Yeah, so I think it's only really going to be the goblin bodyguards left at this rate. Although, actually, target the overseers for me. Kill them first. I think Aragorn should be fine against the bodyguards. Sort of major concern. Let's bring him up now. He should be able to finish the rest off. Target the Orc defenders instead. So you guys are not doing a good job at those bodyguards. I'll be honest with you. All right, there we go. Our men are in command of the city. We've lost control of the city. Let's kill the goblin bodyguard first. 
If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Like bug has been killed. Pop that as well. Our men are in. We've lost control of the city. Right, wardens come in as well. We just, just to be sure. Let's not lose Aragon now. We're barely into the campaign. Well done. There's only nine overseers now, so... Again, Aragon, you should be okay to kill them. Oh, the instant route. Even better. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Stand firm. Let's charge the cavalry. Nope. We don't need to. This is a great we lost 30, we killed 959. Aragorn getting 314 kills and Rangers getting 236. Pretty good going. Aragorn is a phenomenal unit. I had no idea they had 34 defence. That is just ridiculous. And the Snaggers have got one attack. And zero defence. That just must mean every time they swing, they kill one. But it just seemed to... It took them a while to chew through that unit, I'll be honest. Yeah. Right, Austin Athel is now we ours. Triumphed. My lord, uh, our we will honor have conquered. just occupy because we're not bothered about the settlement itself. And we are going to destroy the orcish buildings because they don't need them. And now we just need to sell it, my lord, to the high elves. Stopping here, but I think we'll do that next turn, or next episode even, because I'm going to end it here. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall catch you all in the next one.